What's up, YouTube family? Lou here with another God Like Collectibles video. And today I wanted to share with you um, a couple of thoughts I had and also uh, <laughs> a big uh, mistake I made too. And I don't want to say a mistake because I really love the cards. But, um, you know, I don't know how many of you sometimes, it, maybe in the beginning or in the past, have made a mistake of where you get too anxious to get a card and you end up buying it. But I don't want to say by accident, but you buy a second one um, and then you regret after you buy it. Um, let me explain. So I basically saw these these Julio Rodriguez. He's been one of my favorite players Um to watch like some of the, the the new young players that have been out, you know, Acuna, um, love watching uh, Julio Rodriguez. And um, I said, you know what? I want to get, you know, uh, his cards. So I ended up getting a, uh, a Topps All-Star Rookie Cup card, um, a SGC a while back. And um, when it first came out, the, two, the 2023 line, and then I saw this card, which was from 2022 tops, and I just loved the image. I thought the image was beautiful. And um, I said, you know what? I want to get it. So I start looking, and I find the CSG, uh, and I was like, oh, you know, it's a 10. It looks good. And I was like, oh, maybe, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because I'm not really like a CSG guy. So I find the PSA 9. And the CSG was on auction. And the PSA was buy it now or best offer. So I sent the guy an offer on it. And in all honesty, I didn't think he was going to accept the offer. So I was like, ah, oh, man, you know, it, you know, you know how you get anxious when you're waiting for somebody to accept the offer on a bid and they or uh, accept an offer you made and they don't make it right away. So you start like getting antsy and you're waiting and you're waiting. So now by this time, he still hasn't responded. And the CSG Julio Rodriguez is counting down. And I'm like, oh, man, what happens if this guy rejects my offer for the PSA and I miss out on the one that I, that's on auction because I don't bid on it? So I'm waiting and I'm waiting and the guy never hits me back up. And I'm like, oh, man. So finally, all of a sudden, it's going down to the wire the last 30 seconds. And I'm like, I got to get it. I got to get it. This card is too like phenomenal looking. It just looks great with him in the, you know, the game within the game. It's like a picture within the picture. I said, I got to get it. So I put a bid in. And sure enough, <laughs> I win the bid. And I'm like, oh, I'm happy. You know, I got it. Cool. Next thing you know, like five minutes later, congratulations, um, you know, on the, on the offer that they accepted the offer. And I don't know if you guys have done this yet or have noticed that eBay has changed the way they are. Like when you make an offer now, now they want you to already have like a prepaid uh, setup to pay it. That way, if the offer gets accepted, it's paid right away. So I have my card set up for it. So the minute it, it the guy accepted my offer, it automatically took the money out. So it was already paid for. So now I'm thinking to myself, should I just hit up the other guy from the auction from CSG and just say, hey, um, I decided not to get it because I got it. But then I started thinking to myself, especially as a seller, because I sell on eBay, I would be really pissed off and upset if somebody came out after they bid on something, reneged on it and say, oh, I don't want it and pull back. And then now I'm stuck 
having to list it all over again and go through the trouble of relisting and whatever. And, you know, so I said, you know what? I'm just going to eat it. I'm going to pay for it. I'm not going to do that to the seller because it's not his fault. That was all on me. So, you know, it just wasn't ethically right to me, you know? So I came out and decided to just get both of them. And then I make a comparison on which one I want to keep. And maybe I'll just send one out. I mean, send one to, to you know, put it up on my store for sale later on. Or maybe I'll just keep both. I don't know. Um, then I got them. And I said, well, let's see how it looks when I get them. So I finally got them and I'm looking at them and I'm like, man, they both look good. I love the fact that, you know, I have a PSA label and it's the newer label, you know, and I really, really, really like it. You know, I the majority, maybe 90 percent of my collection is all in PSA slabs. So I'm like, oh, this would be perfect. I could put it in the registry, whatever, this and the other. And then I look at the other one and I'm like, oh man, the other one looks good too. But then with all the the news happening with CSG changing their labels again to CGC, I'm like, oh, do I really want to do that? Do I want to keep that one? And then, you know, I show it to to my wife and I'm like, hey, what do you think? Which one looks better? And she ended up liking the CSG slab. And then I'm showing her other slabs, you know, the, the SGC and all these other slabs I got. And um, and I also have the old CSG um, slabs and I have the... Uh, like the, the ones to grade, like the game cards, like the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that stuff. I have one of those. So I was able to show her the different slabs. So she actually likes the new CGC slab, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Because I, I actually have a, a Ozzy Smith in, a, in the uh, new CGC slab. But... You know, after looking at them and after looking at my collection, I think I'm leaning towards the PSA and keeping it, even though it is a nine and not a 10. Um, you know, I just wanted the card. So it really didn't matter the grade. I just happened to get them at a relatively, you know, cheap price. You know, like whatever it would cost me to actually send one out to grade and pay for shipping and actually buy the card. Because the card itself... I was seeing this card go for like, you know, eight to ten dollars raw. So I'm thinking to myself, if I buy the card raw for like eight to ten dollars, you know, then I send it away to get slabbed. You talking another fifteen to twenty dollars, you know? So now we're we're looking at around thirty bucks for the cards, and I pay less than thirty for each of these. So. It just made sense to just buy it on eBay. But now I'm kind of like stuck. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Which one you, you think I, I should I should keep the 10? Or should I keep the 9? PSA? The 10? CSG? I'm not sure. But the big news with... I'll keep that Julio up there. Because I want to compare a couple of other slabs. The big news is now CGC has taken over completely of SCG. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, CS, uh, CSG. And CSG is no longer going to be on the label. So now, instead of it saying certified sports guarantee on the top, it's going to say certified guarantee company. And instead of CSG up here, it's going to say CGC on the top left corner. Uh, me, personally, they they almost look identical. You know what I mean? There's not really much of a, uh, a difference to me. Um, you know, either way, they, it's the same slab that they're using. It, it looks good. It's in black. You know what I mean? Uh, the back, you can see they uh they put 
the uh, hollow sticker in the back. It, it looks identical. Now, if we go back to the older one, if we go back to the older, which is the green one, now, you know, that's a real big change. You know, I know a lot of collectors. I've been I've been watching some some videos and a lot of YouTube collectors like uh YouTube YouTubers that are are like Pokemon collectors and stuff like that. They're really not happy at the change. And um me personally, I actually think it's a good look that they're going to make everything the same slab. As far as the the tag, like uh, on the label on the top, um, that way they could keep everything unified. I wish they would have did it from the very beginning um, because it kind of sucks that they're changing it. Because when you look at PSA, whether it's a sports card, where it's a TCG card, um, you know, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever it is, they keep the same red label, you know, and it's the same layout. Nothing is different. So I think it's a smart move by CGC to keep it all together. Now, CGC, you know, when it comes to comics, they're number one. They are the best company when it comes to comic books. So to me, they're a big, big company that could, uh, um, you know, I think they could contend. But because they've made so many drastic changes in the last two years, I don't know if it's going to hurt them, you know? Um, I'll show you one of their... Because what I thought was cool, too, when they were doing their TCG cards, they were doing, like, it almost looked like the comic book label, you know? Here's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Sorry about that. Here's a Yu-Gi-Oh card that has the label of, you know, of CGC, and it, it actually looks just like the comic label, you know, with the with the light blue. And I thought it was actually kind of cool. I liked it, to be, to be quite honest with you. Now, I kind of wish what CGC would have did um, and CSG, which is the same company, right? But what I kind of wish they would have did was keep all the labels and allow the collector to choose the label they wanted when they put in um when they when they send their car to, to to get graded so like for example if a collector already has been collecting his Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards with this label and he wants to keep his collection uniform then he should be able to have the option to say you know what I want to keep that same blue label and not put the new label, right? And the same thing with the uh, CSG collector. If they like the green label and they rather keep the green label, which I don't think many people like the green label, to be honest with you, but I'm not going to lie. When it comes to like certain cards, um, the green label does kind of pop, but it is a, an extremely big label compared to the other ones. But I think maybe it should have just been left to the collector, to, to choose. Uh, but I don't know if that's more work for uh, C CGC. But I do like their new black label. It looks good. But because of the registry, because of, you know, me having so many of the of those cards already, I decided that I, I think I'm going to end up keeping them. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to end up keeping my PSA collection and just keep grading PSA. And... My collection will hold more value in the future if, God forbid, something happened to me and it's time for my wife to get rid of them or my children, then, you know, they can get more uh, value by selling my uh, PSA collection rather than trying to sell all the other slabs that are not that, thing. Um, how you call it? not that popular but you know all in all they're great slabs you know they're very crystal clear they look great um like that that ozzy right here you know looks beautiful this 81 
tops. Ozzy Smith looks beautiful. I, I love the way it looks. It's so clear. You see the card great. So in that sense, I give them I give them the 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 the, the, the a little bit of a, a slight edge um, over PSA. Um, the Julio card looks amazing. I just love the artwork of the way that that picture looks. Um, so, but I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. You know, as collectors, what what, what would you do? And then um, lastly, I just want to show you real quick just a couple cards I I got um, from. I bought a binder this weekend. I bought two binders actually, but I'm not going to show the binders now. Um, but I, I did want to just show you a couple of cards that I got in the binder that I thought were pretty cool. Um, it's a Mike Trout Fireworks Panini Prism. Very cool looking card. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. Um, got this Optic Aaron, uh, Aaron Judge. Ooh, I got a Naturals uh, Kirby Pocket. Very cool card. And I have this 70th anniversary um, from 2017. A, uh, a Jackie Robinson logo patch with Adam Jones, which I thought was really cool. You know, very cool looking card. Hope you can see it. You know, I'm trying trying out this new technology here with, you know, all this, all these different things that I got going on. <laughs> so, forgive me if it doesn't come out right. And then I got this Titan Aaron Judge. This card is fire. Love it. I sleeve this one up right away, as you can see. So, you know, I'm keeping that. Um, this one is actually numbered to 299. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's 129 out of 299. So very beautiful looking card. So might send that to to get graded. Um, I, I've been seeing a lot of people sending stuff to see, uh, SGC with that whole new $15 thing. Uh, I think I might end up doing it. I think I'm gonna do it. I got a Albert Pujols rookie that I want to send in. It's quite a few cards. And then I got this uh, 96 uh, Fleer Metal. These are really nice. Really nice looking cards. You know, I got Lee Smith. Uh, Dennis Martinez. They just look freaking awesome. Travis Fryman. Greg Vaughn. You got another Hall of Famer, Paul Molitor. Look at that. That just looks amazing. Tino Martinez. Look at this Paul O'Neill. This is probably my favorite one. Look at that. Woo! Fire, literally, right? <laughs> it's just a great looking card. Bo Clark. This one's a little harder to see. Juan Gonzalez. Dean Palmer, Joe Carter. This is a Fred McGriff. Look at that. That's hot. Mark Grace. This is a nice one, too. Sammy Sosa. Larry Walker. Look at that. These are just great looking cards. Gary Sheffield. Darren Fletcher. Jeff King. Ozzie Smith. And this one is cool too. William Van Landingham. I don't even know who that is, but but these cars look amazing. So just wanted to show you a few things I picked up. Wanted to show you 
the bonehead mistake I made <laughs> with the with the fear of missing out on that Julio Rodriguez. Meanwhile, there's like a million of them listed. But in any case, I'm happy I got them. They both look great. Whether I decide to keep them both or just keep one, who knows. Um, but one of the things that kept popping in my mind is is John Mangini when he says, you know, are we collecting the the slab or are we collecting the card? You know, and that's what at the bo at the end of the day, that's what it, it boils down to is the card. And that's why I'm going to start sending a lot of my cards in for grading because I have a lot of cards that I think are in great condition. And instead of me buying um, cards already graded, you know, I might as well take advantage of some of the cards that I already have here that are, you know, I don't want to say that they're, they're, they're that expensive, but they're valuable and it'll be nice to get them slabbed. So I appreciate you guys for spending some time with me, taking a look at, at what I have here and hearing hearing me talk about the CGC. Tell me what you think. If you think CGC is even worth uh, dealing with, um, tell me in the comments who's your favorite grading company. And um, I appreciate you uh, taking some time and, and, and watching the video. So I'll see you on the next one. Take care. God bless. Peace.